Department of the Music and More Foundation. Uh, this is our second year going to the Missouri State Capitol, uh, sponsored by Missouri State Rep. Brandon Kelly. It's to usher in the Malcolm X Commission to turn that bill into a law. Today is May 14th. Uh, we headed down there. Uh, it's going to be historic. Because we got human rights, civil rights. Uh, civil rights was what the movement was about, but he has to fall for human rights, which is a little different. Because human rights is natural God-given rights, right? So you have the right to be free. You have the right for me not to oppress you. You have the right for me not to victimize you. A civil right would be something given by the civil government, something that can be taken taken away from. A human right is something that can never be taken away from. Because when we talk about Malcolm X in school, you always get talked about uh, Martin Luther King. Y'all never hear about Malcolm. Y'all never hear about Fred Hampton. I never hear about Stokely Carmichael. I never, yeah, I know. These are, these are ghosts that y'all would never hear about in school because of the type of ideology that they're talking about. Uh, it wasn't that he was promoting violence. If you actually listen to his message, he didn't promote violence. But he did say, if you smack me, I'm going to smack you back. That's common sense, though. Uh, you're not going to sit there and let somebody just keep pummeling on you uh, and not react. That, that's, that's not intelligent. Uh, when we talk about Stokely Carmichael, Kwame Ture, uh, Fred Hampton, and all these other cats that y'all would never hear about, we have to examine American history and ask ourselves, why aren't we hearing about these people? Why aren't we hearing about their message? And that's the reason that we're doing the Malcolm X celebration. Uh, not to just celebrate him on his birthday, but to celebrate his message, because his message was self-determination. Uh, what self-determination means is, she's not gonna let me put my hand on her shoulder and she's not gonna move. She's gonna do whatever she can to get my hand off her shoulder and move. And as so-called minorities or black folks, that's what we have to uh, understand in America. We have to understand the rules of engagement. Politics, there's no degree that you have to get to become a, a politician. Uh, there's no courses that you have to take to become a politician. The only thing that you have to do is represent the people or the area and the demographic that you come from. Uh, so it's not exclusive for people to get in. The problem is uh, so-called minorities, we feel that the political arena isn't for us. Uh, and it's institutional barriers and all this stuff, but politics is, is the rules of engagement. So if y'all want change, then y'all get involved in mechanisms that create change, or y'all suffer the, uh, the burden of, of being a slave. Uh, being a slave means that you're following somebody else's will. Uh, the transfer directly as a result of inner city. 
uh, under accreditation. All the districts was, was, was involved with the bill protected the outside districts because the inner city districts didn't show up. Uh, and again, it's 14 reps up here, and out of the 14 reps, uh, uh, a handful of us got together and we were trying to negotiate and, 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 and fight for change. But it's hard to do when you when you don't have people that's paying attention. Uh, and that's why you don't have resources. Uh, simple and plain. It has nothing to do with the color of the person that's in the school. It has everything to do with the organization of the district and the makeup of the district.
to move on and you embrace. From Minds That Matter, I'll introduce to you Sir Adams. Happy birthday, Brother Malcolm. And uh, pretty much like I said, I'm a hip hop artist, so I am gonna be uh, performing lyrics to a song that I made entitled NWA, stands for Negroes with Ambition. With all the magnificent ways of how we all been raised, in the world is the days I'm traveling through this maze. I pray that I don't get grazed by bullets with demons pulling. They full of hatred, known as some of the cruelest. The earth turns cold for most of the game's truest. Consistent with my crew is, Negroes rocking the nooses. Thinking of the torture for all those Negroes and the Jews. Psycho men in the crowd who yes dare me to pull it. And he's gonna erase whatever slows down his pace. For the human sake, he's just offended. The human race for falling down to extinction is no more in existence. People begging to have sex when we claim that we Christians. That's a misunderstanding, a total complication. Triggered the brain to pause, cause my manipulation. Superficial relations, not obeying regulations. The norm is once in better days, I want precipitation. The rain will fall, causing us to involve me to some other species that's probably against the law. My words and my flaws is all that I got to give. So take it when I give it, flick ashes from all the seeds. The slightest bit of motivation. You give yourself because of others' trials and tribulations. Will demonstrate the revelations that we have at hand. To overthrow the king, the sire, or he who is man. That is the plan. Plan to elevate and rise above. When revolution comes, you want to resign as the dove. In the zero one, they hope to become the new hero. While children in the ghetto hope to become in the next Nino or Al Pacino. The world is yours, no, it's God's. But we live in it. We make mistakes, it's all good. They take percentage. And judge me my last three moments. They so relentless, who were they to try to kill me off? With death sentence, from bowing down to your honor. Changes of man's persona, causing them to smoke ganja in me and lost her nirvana. When all those people trying to put heat on you like a sign. To be the best, you gotta think major, no more mind. And all the problems with the people gotta go behind you. Or you gon' see it take you down like a landmine. Now who gon' find you? This what we've been waiting for. You ain't faking, no. That's what they hate for. They see you burning up. They say it's Satan's flow. In case you didn't know, people was pitiful. Have you a cup of joe before you witness more? The realest matter to the middle one. We living, hoping for a change of greater good, trying to make a name for ourselves, get us out the hood, doing what we want to, never really what we should, but going. But what would you do if you could? Thank you. Our next poet to the stage was born to her parents, Tammy Wilson and Terrence Williams on May 14, 1999. Ladies and gentlemen, can you all help me in wishing Dejiana Wilson a happy birthday? Happy birthday! Ladies and gentlemen, Dejiana Wilson. It's one in so many, if only you knew. This smile that I have on my face, I have this smile constantly on my face, but, but it's hard. Yeah, sorry. Uh, if only you knew, you think you know the real me, but really the person you see is one in so many, if only you knew. I have this smile on my face, but constantly I have an attitude because really deep, deep down inside, I'm a lonely girl. I mean, I am a lonely, confused, emotionally confused girl who just needs her space. If only you knew. The person you see is one in so many. You think you know the real me, but really, the person you see is one in so many. If only you got to know the real me. Happy birthday, now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you a part of Kingpin Coalition. Less is more. Respect and love, and uh, thank you, man. 
everybody. Uh, huh? When I rhyme, you elevate so high, you can hear the moon poop. Dr. Jekyll and Hyde mixed with some blues clues. I'm already out of this world when you hear that vroom vroom. Orange Ruffy, seasoned fries and couscous. Back to the basic fake, get the deuce deuce. How the hell I'm so funky, it ain't from you, fool. Or prune juice, my brain is neutral. My soul is on for this music, we shoot, shoot. Ain't no reason at all for all poverty. Overstand that all that stuff's a mockery. Word the Garvey ain't hearing his name hardly. Blasting dead press, Julia Gung Marley. Future is now, the youth are proven equation. System fails, so y'all living's amazing. Raise your flag, throw your hands, get crazy. Hip hop ain't been like this lately. Now hold up. We used to catch the bus to the mall. CD store, lower level, kept me in all. Track two, listening station, it was Goody Mom. Dungeon Family Squad, help me see the your mirage. Now I'm speaking to the gods. We all got one with that we? Unless your soul's a memory. Can the city and beyond, I will not pawn that burning embry. Infinitely stingy. Love cannot be fake when you relate through time bending. Won't let them lies get me. Responsibility to carry torches that they give me. Authenticity so rare, so quality is missing. If he will is producing the black excellence pending. Only manifest that raw, so less is more is 15. This is for them 16s, 24, bar spitters 32, hard hitters 48, raw with his 64, scientists for on spit and worry about getting signed with them diamonds is, they mining something moderate. Ladies and gentlemen, Mia Sade. Okay, this poem is called Show Me a Reason. Through fault, teary eyes, he raises his hands, only to show to God that he's still here. Feels like he's been waiting for centuries for a sign saying God's still here. He's been broken, battered, bruised, betrayed, below the influence and blessed, but he doesn't see this blessing in this mess he calls life. Trading for pieces of good night hugs with no attachments. He's required to have no strings attached because strings attached, that means that that person is control of his heartstrings and can play him like a puppet. He trades his worries for pieces of good night hugs with no strings attached. Good night hugs that mean good night goodbye when light strikes the bedspread. He trades his soul for white elegant dancers that emerges from his forced smile. White elegant dancers that persuade his body to relax. He trades his confidence for likes on Instagram, thinking that if at least one girl posts his picture with a caption saying, shout out to this cutie, he could rebuild his composure and post a faded picture with the caption saying, the ladies love me. But does he love himself? He trades his trust for homies that laugh with him, club with him, but as soon as the bullets come, they'll run the other way because they were never the targets for his 2 a.m. tears. <sighs> Through fog teary eyes, he raises his hands only to show to God that he's still here. Feels like he's been waiting for centuries only to find a sign saying, you have reached God, please leave your name and number at the beat. Through fog, teary eyes, he raises the gun to his head. Thoughts rattle through his brain like a plastic bag inside of a tornado. Thinks, I know God is real. I don't doubt him at all, but he couldn't hear my silent cries every night. A different warm body cradled me in their arms. He didn't taste the tears that fell from my eyes into his Bible. He didn't accept the gift of my broken heart, although he said give him my all. Never answered even one call. I guess I'm not saved on his phone. I guess his ringer was too low. I guess my voicemail never went through. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Sherry Perkins Hall. The first poem is called My Boy, and the second poem is called Break Poet. The day. The first day I saw him, looked at his beautiful brown, tender and harmless, cooed and cried, swallowed I protected my boy. And before I knew what he was for, those big brown eyes melt my heart, hugged so tight as if holding me was helping him to hold on to his childhood. Yet with every heartbeat, it was fleeting. My boy, grown into a young, my boy, yet his charms 
are life threatening, my boy. The only enforced to zero tolerance can't have strong opinions without sounding militant. Only celebrated as an 1800 slave of love or ignorance can't acknowledge the existence of current bigots. Can't learn about himself through public education and only gets taxpayer funded reading material through incarceration, my boy. Can't drink iced tea in a parking lot nor seek help without getting shot. Can't work, go to work without someone thinking he's out of place nor inspect the land for his living space. My boy can't drive while back, can't take out the trash, can't raise his voice nor raise his hand. My boy denied his right to be a man. My boy can't express himself after a game. My boy, your $40 million slave must behave a certain way. My boy can't walk to basketball practice without harassment from black kids on pavement, using probable cause as a basis, reaching his pants, his private state grass, yet twist and pop, my boy will never grow to be a biological pop. She done messed up, my boy. Break those doors and don't 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 Break, 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 Break poets make power moves, break poets, educate poets, break it down poets, break stereotypes, break boundaries, break beats, break the regulated rap, break the breaking expectations, break the unexpected, break new ground, break the mold and the box, break bones, originally broken to conform, break so they won't be deformed, break the same to norms, break broken promises that break broken hearts, break lines, break stanzas, break English, break poets. How y'all doing tonight? Good, good. I want to thank the Music of War Foundation. Brandon Ellington, the house, the painters, because that's really nice up there. It's nice. Um, I'm a hip hop artist, but to me, spoken word is one and the same. We just have a different cadence. How many of y'all been told y'all was crazy? Raise your hand. Me too, me too. You know, but they like to say it, but a lot of times they don't want to know why we're crazy. I don't think people are crazy. I don't think there's such thing as being normal. I think that's crazy. So I want to tell them a little reason or maybe why they might perceive me as being crazy. You know, they label me a psycho. They say we're homicidal. They say we're genocidal. But they'll never tell us why. You guys know why we're that way? Or perceived that way? The diagnosis on my psychosis is atrocious. My dome is provoking notions of frightful motives that's known as what post-traumatic syndrome is. My combative neurosis is due to lack of support when those automatics are loaded. Many travel their own is to carry anguish to souls when they own it on clapping homes in which adolescents are snoring. Imagine that that was your kid. Imagine that that was your crib. Imagine that I'm imagining that of which I spoke. Try to capture the scope when we pour this flash to expose it. The demographic, my folk in the lack of bad emotion. Brand a trap that I roam in the manufacturing moment. 64130 coding, black on black at components. Track the stats of my folks look like rats in the lab, they probe them. Shackle them up and hold them. Like animals, they been poaching. Classified pigeon hole men. Six by cells by locusts. Cause they in real test scores show them how problematic the foe is. And I'm psycho. They label us homicidal. They say we genocidal. But they don't never tell us why. Tell us why. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I introduce to you Marshall Allen. The title of my piece is called Six Feet Under. Concrete blocks describe the wounds in the back of the head of a man with morals seen through like portals to hell and rage. Pure hatred that thrives in mentality to kill. 
A cemented cover to this is actually useful when pumping blood through the veins or blowing chunks from the brains with guns that don't display fingerprints of victims sentenced to eternity with God himself, rendering the children unto him for a better purpose. It's worthless to try to empower the mind of a people who have been through years of struggle in hell when hell is pumped with the bullet of a gun into the flesh of one walking back to his security. Home. Do you still wonder why I hate do you still wonder why I am the way I am? It's because of people who are different from me that choose to eat my appearances like the beautiful assorted colors of Skittles and unopened packages and drink my defeat like the unbroken perforated seal on an iced tea left in my hand as I fall hopelessly to the ground, my innocence screaming, begging, pleading for the arrival of help but having none to assist me, I, just like the night. Share the salty taste of the rainbow and am left unattended while my demise walks graciously across a free land. I'm not a boy, I'm a man. Well, at least that's what defense says. In the eyes of those who see the rainbow as charcoal, my age remains just a number, but to my people, to humane people, to actual human beings, I am just a child. I was just a child. At least I used to be. I, present, was, past, I was, am no more. But of course they understand my pain, they say. My past reflected their future, they say. I deserve to die, they say. I attacked first, they say. It was in God's plan for him to kill me, he said. Death was predetermined by practice lies and late social media evidence found from my phone that entitled my death thug and justified. Punishment for others was centuries worth of humiliation. Mine was acquitted. Dean got disowned, OJ got jail time, Vic got federal prison. Is that dog's life more important than me ever telling my family that I love them? Childlike dreams for children under 18, so let's take it back to Rodney King. I'm the past Jordan Davis, the present Emmett Till, and the future Trevor Dooley. They no longer lynch me from trees, but lynch me through a corrupt system. For the world to see me hanging by the very rope of the justice system that was put in place to choke the life out of me and watch me hang by my neck until I get my last We shall not be moved through my last breath and swing lifeless from the branches of hatred. And then they have the nerve to ask me why I take this so seriously. And I tell them because I am Trayvon Martin. I was 17. That could have been my rainbow splattered blood next to my dead body. If Skittles and iced tea 